for now. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Axel, and we are here with another episode of Comic Convos, episode 30. We did it! We hit the big 3-0, and you did it with us. Thank you. We couldn't do it without you. Uh, currently, Leo's here. He's just sharing over there, uh, you know, doing his thing. And this week, we have so much to talk about with the recent release of Defenders, with the recent announcements from DC. Uh, like these, there's a lot of hardcore stuff coming, and even more than that, like next week, I believe we have the Inhumans drop in IMAX. Uh, there's just so much, guys. I'm so excited. What about you guys? Hey, Izzy, thanks for joining. And Mikey, sweet. Uh, it's all. It's always good to have you guys back. It's always great to have people in here and talking. And you know, uh, what do you guys think? Are you excited for all this? And I know Mikey is not doing Defender Jet because he's catching up. I'm not sure about Izzy, uh, but th those were pretty great. So, uh, and and realistically, I, I think there's there was so much to do there, but it was still a solid seven, maybe seven and a half out of ten for me. I always have to give a point of hey DeAndre, thanks for coming in, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, and Leo Sharon. So we're we're just getting ready, waiting for Leo to come over here in a while uh, but for now we're just talking about all the great stuff oh man almost done with Luke Cage finished Iron Fist cool have you done the uh, Daredevils and hey pim 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 8 out of 10 on Defenders nice Izzy I, I really liked it but like I said there were some things that kind of pulled back for me uh, like I said it's, it's also really hard Daredevil season 2 is still so amazing and Luke Cage just has a special spot in my heart uh, but I, it's definitely actually third in our ranking list. Like we, we've we've already determined our ranking list change. I still haven't watched Jessica Jones. I, I'll say this, DeAndre: when you do, or if you do, uh, go through and try to make yourself get to like see episode three. If you can de get to three, yeah, it is so slow. But I, I felt like episode three picked up. Season two of Daredevil is awesome, Mikey. In my opinion, season two of Daredevil is probably the best uh, superhero. TV adapt series adaption season period of any anybody is just so good. the The only thing that isn't great is that it. Well, the the only thing is that's not even like comic book accurate is like Electra. Da, 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 da. Anyway, uh, spoiler brain. Mute it. It's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right, like. Well, to be fair, to be fair, it's old enough now that I can talk about it. But I know you haven't seen it, Mike. What's up, y'all? Leo right now. The blurred is here. See you guys. Ah, yes, another great week of oh. time combos, guys. And here uh, talking about defenders, Axel. Yeah, a lot of great points, man. I pretty much agree with you on the rating. Seven out of ten. That's literally exactly what defenders is. Um. We were talking earlier, there's some really good tones for each character, like, just the settings, the music, the oh. ambiance. And the way that it doesn't clash is what I find most amazing, because yeah. they do good at that in their own individual shows, but seeing it brought together and then mixed from one scene to the other. Thanks for joining, William hey, Melvin. Hey, William Melvin, Appreciate thanks for coming out, man. I thought Leo was being a bum and skipping out. No, oh, no, 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 no. I never. would never skip. Never. Mm. Except for that one time. <laughs> <laughs> the first episode. The very first episode. That was the only time. I got deathly ill. <laughs> yep. What's good? Hey. Good to see you, man. It's but yes, good. Defenders, such a good series, uh, man. I mean, it's only eight episodes, so I would go back and eight, watch it yeah, at almost I've, any time. I've, yeah, and I already have gone through pretty much like a second time, but I've gotten pretty much my rank so far. Five, yeah. Jessica Jones, four, Iron Fist, three, Luke Cage, two, Defenders, one, Daredevil. Can't wait for Punisher. Yeah, I know. I can't wait for Punisher. I want to see where Punisher fits into my list. Yeah, I think the problem with the Punisher series is it's going to be so different. It's not going to be a superhero. No, It is no, definitely going to be all. an uh, anti-hero series, which there's not... I mean, they're, they exist, and they're there, but like the Punisher, not very many of those are out there. Like they have a recent release of like Preacher, they did the, the the adaption of Preacher into a live series on Hulu, which it's all right. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. You know, I've seen a couple episodes and I wasn't right. too impressed. Yeah, the problem is Dylan 
to do Dylan on live TV is nearly impossible because of how dark and kind of cringy he is. And on Hulu's budget and how much they... Uh, is it a Hulu original or is it... I think it might be a Hulu original, but it, that's not really big. So there's not super amount of of graphics in... Uh, at least not to that level of special effects graphics that would be required for some... Like a usual superhero movie, because the original one, most of the stuff for that would be like any angel or heaven scene, which is like so tiny. Let's see. The only issue I had with Luke Cage was not how like ghetto, ghetto it was. It was how long it took to explain his powers and how he got them. Uh, I thought the build up to the powers was pretty cool. Like it helped me have some anticipation. I I knew. I knew. Uh, yeah, I think the that's Luke Cage the, comics, I think but... that does change my perspective. Like maybe if I didn't know. Yeah, about Luke Cage I before watching Luke Cage, that would also change, and that's what we also have talked about. That there are differences between the the greatness of each show depending mm -hmm. on if you know about the character. Or not. Yeah, like, exactly. It has to be rated on different levels. You can't just give a flat rating. I knew virtually. I mean, his powers are pretty Jessica. straightforward. That's true, William. But like, not everyone just knows his powers right away. Like and I said, I went in and I knew his full power set right, right. away. Right, and, and, and like, for all we knew, he could be you know do a lot more than or what, or even less. Yeah, or, or much less. I mean, maybe. A uh, normal bullet could have got through him, but we it, it wasn't that clear. But again, reading the comics from as a child and up to now, like I oh, just yeah. know so much about Luke Cage, Iron oh, Fist, yeah, and he's Spider Man. Definitely one of my favorite heroes, anyway. Yeah, I I mean it's hard. There's so Heck many great yeah. heroes, but he's and see, definitely. I went in blind to Jessica Jones. I knew she was his a bit wife, the same. but. I hadn't gone and is, read into I, her that My much. thing is, I didn't read enough pre-Luke Cage Jessica Jones. She's an entirely different person after they hook up, kind of. Mm -hmm. Well, and even in the road to it, like, they both change. But, like, pre... Like, she, that's the thing, too, is her... Her uh, TV adaption is perfectly accurate to her pre-Luke Cage time period, which is she's, like, an alcoholic, non-hero hero. Hmm. And she, except they never gave her the costume. They showed it, but they never gave her the jewel yeah. costume, <laughs> which I really would have liked well, to see her in the jewel costume. That would have been the nice, you know, uh, fanboy uh, ser fan I mean, service. Yeah, it's cool how they all like pop up in their outfits at one point. Right, Even Iron Fist when he gets out the jail, he's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> he's in his the old. The only outfit. one we still haven't seen in outfit, I believe, is Danny. Yeah, that's it. Danny's the only one. Well, no, Danny and Jessica. So Jessica hasn't been in. Hasn't been in, yeah. But we've seen her costume. We have seen. We, we haven't, haven't even seen, seen Danny's his. outfit, which kind of well, it's hard. It's not very stylish. No, it's not. I feel if they got a few uh, back up here, it may be straightforward, but it wasn't clear how it worked. I mean, it took like nine or ten episodes of the thirteen episode. I don't think it took that long, Mikey. They explained his episodes by like episode five yeah, or so. Yeah, I thought it was about halfway through where they actually did the flashback to the prison scene. Right, like and they explained he's like bulletproof and he got his powers through the experiment. Mm -hmm. Another version of the cap serum. Right, <laughs> which is awesome. Another thing. Uh, yeah, I feel like that definitely didn't take that long. I, Again, we did go it. in knowing it, but. I don't know. It felt like it was like five or six when they go back to the prison and, scene. And as far as like explaining his powers, like they show he's bulletproof like... Episode one or two. I mean, it's like episode two. Well, no, I mean, he gets shot out... Uh, spoilers. He gets shot out the first scene, right? Or not first scene, first episode and the first episode. Mm -hmm. And then the super strength is explained like... 20 seconds in the first episode with the washing machine or whatever. That's right. Yeah, That's not even a spoiler. I'm not even going to call that a spoiler. I feel if they added Arrow instead of Jessica Jones, I think they would have a better plot. <laughs> Do you guys feel Strider was the reason Cage got his powers just like Wolverine Stryker? Uh, like half and half. I don't feel like it's an, enough of a connection like for Wolverine versus uh, Stryker. It's like... yeah. Or the the other guy who was a Mount, who was a Malian, a Emmanuel Abrams Izzy would probably know the really? name. Really, I could have swore that it was about episode eight where it actually covered how it see. happened. No, I think the prison's Luke about five Cage or six, TV man. But series. I will say, Luke Cage. It like my most favorite Marvels character of them, but not the favorite series because the Daredevil wait for series was great. Okay, yeah. Oh man, that's so it's okay. I gotta go to the actual thing and check this one because I I feel it. felt like I watched recently. No, so episode four he starts remembering his past as Carl Lucas, mm -hmm. and then episode five he's back. Uh, he's back messing with shades, <laughs> and then they re and then they introduce the Judas bullet. So. 
Man, that's episode that's four and five. They, they had the. Ability. I will say yeah. maybe like it wasn't fully maybe spelled out, but I feel like a lot of it was like could be gleaned from eh, responding. Yeah, I don't know. Scenes. I, it wasn't six either. Uh, six would be in epi- in episode six. What's up, Kevin? Good to see you, man. Well, that's the thing. It does take a second after that, then. But no, after that, it's just because they go to to uh, the one guy's spot. They actually go to the doctor, but that's not when they explain his powers. Really, I guess it they does explain kind of long. They Eight? it does explain the uh, abalone shell thing, but that doesn't actually have to do with his powers. That has to do with like disabling. His powers, so that they can use the acid serum on him. Let's see. Yeah, just saying that because both Luke Cage and Wolverine, both outcasts, and both underwent military experiments. Um, like I can see him. Uh, like I said, as a thing, the difference being Stryker wasn't responsible for the program in uh, the prison, whereas. Yeah. Like I, I definitely agree like they're similar. I just wouldn't put Stryker as a similarity. He's the different point. Luke I think and, he was saying maybe that's Stryker is the reason why he got they got their powers. Is that what you're saying? Well he I think he was True, true. Gotcha. Hi Anisha. Hey Anisha, good to see you. But yeah, so like the original spleen is like a little ex Lachlan, uh, what's up, man? Bad, I guess. Hey, good to see you again, Lachlan. I mean I, I don't know. Like I said, I would talk- definitely say Luke Cage and Wolverine share the similarity of being military experiments, outcast, uh, betrayed. That, and that was there. really good, actually, William, because they do have uh, quite a bit of similarities yeah. when you put it that way. But I would say that, the diff- like I said, the difference being Stryker, uh, not... Sh- yeah, sorry, there's, there's two Strikers, so it screws me up. Yeah. So, <laughs> He's right. uh, Willis, Stryker, uh, w- while responsible for sending Cage to prison, was not didn't have a hand in the creation of uh, that, se- that, that serum prison, or program, program or even the program fight program. Hey, yo, they were betrayed, but Luke is way down to earth compared to Logan. I would say, in different ways, they're down to earth. I'd say <laughs> Luke Cage is more connected with the people, whereas. Wolverine, who lives hundreds of years, is more connected with reality. Yeah. And the reality of his is that Luke, everyone he knows and loves Luke is Luke Cage has that perk of being like an urban legend almost. And in the style of like, oh, people see Luke Cage, media respect. You know, they know the guy, they know he ha- he's does heroics. And depending on which series, I mean, they know that I he's think that's also where higher. I will think that's also what it depends because when Luke's that's depicted valid. by himself, He's definitely more down to earth than when he's depicted with Danny or with Daredevil or with Jessica. Like he's Very definitely a, a, the hero of the people. Whereas Wolverine is like pushed all over the place. He's with oh, the Avengers. Man. He's with every Logan's other superhero team that's ever existed. Got a comment. Logan, Logan is just, just a freak, freak to the people, people I, guess. I guess. He definitely is, yep. and he he likes it that way. I mean, the mutants are freaks anyway. What's he, up, Jessica? Yeah, but Logan has especially always been an outcast. He's somewhat more animal than man in ways and like I said even more like the reality of him not being able to to die that's a key difference it is definitely yes. a key difference like for sure but uh I definitely say connected with the people for sure if that's how you mean down to earth then yes definitely I mean he's, he's, he's the people's hero he's the the hero well of the and even just streets. he's even and it's it's actually displayed really well in Defenders he's attuned to their problems mm-hmm. as well as the bigger problems yeah like and, and uh, there's oh there's a really cool uh, sorry to break it off but there's a really cool comic in the Avengers comics mm-hmm. where when he's the leader he makes them do community patrol in in a wow, in a neighborhood awesome. and, and, it, and the whole reasoning is the same reason like the cops just show up mm-hmm. and show their face and reduces crime and so he said why can't we as superheroes just show up and help and be right so just cool. just be there and be legit you yeah. know be actual heroes because that's the problem sometimes about these big super teams is like you have people like Luke Cage that are fighting for the little people and then the people just focus on the bigger problem and then when the bigger problem's gone they're out yep you know down and out like I said that everyone blows up the asteroid no one wants to solve world hunger <laughs> exactly and Luke Cage wants to solve world hunger right and there's other heroes who do like for example well it's it's just Susie things. hey Susie yay special shout out by the way so now that they're here, we want to give a shout-out to Susie Marie, Cy Kennedy, and Tyler Lockridge 
for being our patrons on Patreon and mm -hmm. uh, donating. They also get special access to our memes, special memes every week. Do you ever? Do you guys think Professor X will ever get his own show and or storyline? I don't think so, no. but it would be a really cool thing to see. Hey, thank you for I, the I like. I think train. maybe like a couple. I think maybe like a even an appearance in like Legion or something would be cool. But like. I don't know about Maybe him a having three, a whole... three three episode series. Like a special. A three Are we episode talking Professor animated X. or live? Oh, special. Yay, it's Susie. No. Susie said no. <laughs> no way. I, I don't think it'll happen either. And I, I honestly am not sure I'd like to see. Like, he does have a very storied past and, like, lots of cool stories. Mm, and a very, But, but oh, as no. a character, he's not very relatable to people. He's not, you know, he's... And he's there for the X-Men, you know what I mean? He's there for the X-Men. Kind of like sick his... of the spinoffs at this point. Marvel, mostly. I actually became a patron about 10 minutes before this started. Lo oh, oh, shit. Thanks, thanks, man. Mikey. Thank you. In response to Professor X... Oh, yeah, I figured it was... Don't get me started on the Joker. Okay, that's the... Yeah, uh, the, the Joker, Joker movie. The... Oh, are we talking about the Joker reveal and the origin stuff? I think that's the one agreed. <laughs> and hell, even appearance would be good. And appearance is fine. I'm fine with him getting appearances um, as far as um, Professor X. And honestly, the Joker could have his own movie, but I don't believe it should be the origin. That's not a good movie. No. Because, like, my thing about it is how what are, what are they going to do? You know... The Joker's origin, him not that not being touched on Dear so God, heavily. Too much going on at Warner Brothers for yeah. sure, and I mean, that's why I say like Marvel might have more spinoffs, but they don't have it more actual crap coming out. <laughs> like there's just so much crap coming out from DC that you're not even sure what's going on. It's like wait, there's going to be another universe besides the DCEU. That's what you're telling me. Yeah, but co coming back around to what I was talking about, the, the the um. Oh, I lost my train of thought. Yes, <laughs> I did it. I drove the train off the tracks. Uh, Joker. Yes, you did. God damn you. Joker movie. Um, yeah, the Joker movie. I don't know. Just touching his origin in a cinematic light is just annoying to think about. Like, cause I I know they're gonna fuck it up. Like, honestly, nobody's gonna get the Joker right in a cinematic format. It's just not gonna happen with the current way the DCEU is going. With the way that the Arrowverse is going. By the way. There's some good stuff here and there. They're, some of the shows are turning back around, but most of them are not that good. Um, the thing is, so, it's just they're not they're not at their peak anymore. Speaking of which, what do you think of Sony making the new Venom movie? I'm personally excited because they might put in Carnage. I like it, but I don't know what foot they're going to stand on. They're trying to build another new... Like, unless they connect it somehow, even if it's a non-MCU connection and just mentions Spider-Man, there needs to be references to the Marvel Universe. I mean, thing. even in... I, I don't know, man. I'm just like, he needs to be in it in some way, shape, or form. Like, I, it, even if, if you have to make the terrible decision of having a different Spider-Man, just put him in there. Like, like I said, why we don't even on. have to show, like, him talking or speaking. You literally show a CGI person swinging away. Exactly. That's all you have to do. Something. And why do I feel like they are pumping up Eddie Brock to almost build up to be like a Flash Thompson. I'm like, no, dude. No. He's not he's they not do Flash. That one. He's different. It's it's different. Speaking of which Oh, that's that. Yeah, Carnage would be cool, but no hard to sure see those previews? Yes. yes. Oh man. So excited. They'd have to, it needs him bad. It definitely does. This is why you guys are the shit. Hey, thank hey, you, thanks, William. William. You're the shit, William. Yeah, thanks for coming out, man, and participating in the conversation. Seriously, you're driving it. Like, this is one of our better ones lately, and I really love it when you guys comment. Oh, absolutely. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed with Diablo ROS lately. Nice. Nice. I haven't been on Diablo in ages. Well, they just got the download recently for the uh, Necromancer, I think it was a month or two ago, and mm -hmm. then they've added some packs. I didn't do it because you had to buy it, and I was I was lazy, and I had other stuff going nope. on. Nope. <laughs> when you say you gotta buy, I was like, ah, I'll it was an expansion. Get it I get it. I'm just happy that the Venom movie is part of the MCU. Is it? Uh, Kevin, has there been official Did confirmation? Because uh, I thought Kevin, it was confirmed not to be. Kevin Faye came out and said that it's not. Like, he said it on video. Diablo's my shit. Haha, <laughs> yeah, Diablo. Nice, man. Diablo is cool. But the thing is, uh, for anyone who tries to play Diablo, my friends keep making me think if you loved Diablo 2, go play Path of Exile. It's, it's the same thing. Hmm. <laughs> and free. Yeah, Diablo 2 is dope. <laughs> Yeah, but Diablo 2 is now out in the form of Path of Exile, so you can do that with your friends. There you go. I have not yet checked it because I've been busy doing 
other thing. Hey, it happens. Oh, yeah. Yes! yes. <laughs> I knew she was going to talk about that. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out from Kevin. What? Either, I mean, if it is, we'll let's figure it out. This, all right. Here. Yeah, all right. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it is something new that we didn't know. Is... It's been a part of the MCU. I know that the director originally said that. Yeah, they also talked like, about no. the Aunt May movie in the. Oh, stop. Yeah. <laughs> sure, that was a, a late April Fool's joke. There's been a lot of confusion. We got Steve. a link there. And asked if it's true. Okay, Screen Rant to Convent Movie Spider Man MCU, same movie. Yeah, just search it. Search Venom MCU. Um, screen Rant. I guess it's 50 50. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at that, though. Well, cause... it's June 29th from Screen Rant. I'm not necessarily the biggest... Let's see where their references are. And it's like... Do they I mean, have a video? Audio, is the planned video? Vinium spit up with the same reality as the rest of According to former... Yeah, former Sony exec Amy Pascal. They corrected her very quickly yeah, he came after out. she said Fire that. came out and was like, no. Nah. Very, like, very he quickly. very quickly came out and said, no, on cam. Uh, if I can find it in here. Him saying yes, that is, or no? It's oh, or is that an article? He says no. But yeah, I mean that would be awesome if they check. connected. It might it, be. Cause... Maybe the, maybe the news that he said no was a shame. No side tonight. I haven't seen him yet. I need video confirmation. Oh god, Tom Holland is all in. After initial announcement, things seem clear. Blah blah blah. Sony's universe for Tyler Seven. For now, there is no plan for. Is a Sony then Homecoming director John Watts weighed in, also confirming that his movie would not be connected to Ant Venom in any way. Everyone at Marvel seems united. Sony's expanded Spider Verse is not part of the MCU. Mm, it um, would make sense if Venom was part of the MCU. It would. I mean, yeah. And this is the story. This one's all, from July fifth. So this one would have been a later... No side tonight, I guess. It would make sense if Venom was part... I really would like him to be. It would make the movie better. Like I said, we've seen with Ant-Man and Guardians that adding these characters into the established framework of your universe makes them more tangible and better. All right, YouTube, watch... I mean, I can't click that. Well, I can't pull there. it up on the. We probably can, but I'm guessing it's going to be the same interview. Sounds weird with that. Link from... Oh yeah, with the. Like I said, she did say that, but then. But then Kevin, Kevin Feige came out and was like, said, no. "No, she was Which is wrong." Like, what the heck? Like I said, this I, is episode I've seen thirty. That. It is episode thirty. It is episode thirty. Yay. Three zero. Three zero, guys. Just think, we started just in December, by the way. Despite Phage's clarity on the separation, represented started to confuse fans by giving very different answers to the same question. I want to, so, I want to see that video because if that's some recorded audio of him saying like, uh, I don't oh, think yeah. it was of him. I think it's probably that recording of her saying it. Mm, we could at least still check it. But, oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna check it. So, oh god, if must go there. up. Uh, I don't know if it allows us the to The links, see. for some reason, do not pop up. Yeah, we can't see the links. Oh, look, Susie, bam! Thank you for the congratulations. Yay, thank you! And thank you for your continuous support, by the way. Like, you're one of the reasons why we have kept going this entire time. Oh, my goodness. By the way, are you caught up on Game of Thrones? Is anybody caught up on Game of Thrones in here? I'm sure some of you are. It is going so fantastically so far. I'm hoping the next episode, somebody important dies, because we need that back. Always. all. Oh. Yep, that's the video I saw. This is one where Amy Pascal says that it's going to be part of the MCU. Yeah, uh, Kevin said he isn't. I, I thought so. Sorry. Yeah, I hate to burst your bubble. She was said like, it for a while. There was like a big... Like, question, wait, who said who this? Who said who that? Yeah. Let, let's real quick just check it out. Yeah. There'll be adjuncts to it. They may be different locations. But the it way he's looking. will be in the same world, and they will be connected <laughs> to each other as well. What the fuck? Kevin Feige was like, <laughs> there's always a chance. There's always a chance. I think one of the... <laughs> Oh wow, this is the edit one. This is just the same. <laughs> There's like an edit where somebody is. So yeah, Kevin, 
Kevin Feige was sitting on the interview with her with Amy Pascal and she looked really really we- like he looked really weirded out like he was just like kind of watching her and he's like um as she was like yeah they could exist in the same world it could exist which means mm, likely not to exist what's up ariana good to see you tonight however my only thing is i cannot find any good citations because no one cita- cites anything anymore so i cannot officially tell you that he is not part of it because i had all yeah, of these are conjecture. There's no video of him actually saying There's no not, video. Uh, I don't have a transcription of an interview. We got a new comment. Kind of a dumb move to not have him in the MCU. Agreed, Kevin. Yes, I totally agreed. agreed. Good, Good to, to see, see you, you too, Ariana. Thank you for coming in. Oh, Anyone we're going to turn know. this up. Yeah, is that a video? Yeah, that was the MCU oh. discussion video. It's not, that one's not. That's two. Anyone know anything about Obi Wan getting his own movie? I've been hearing this. I've been hearing the rumors. Reportedly. But, Reportedly. but there's been no. Confirmation. There's been no like talk of director. There's Keyword, been no talk of reportedly. Reported. It is report. It is has been reported that the Obi Wan movie is in the works. That can mean anywhere from a concept. That yeah. That can be a couple of sentences on the paper. I mean, it literally is just. Oh, thank you, Susie. Like said, it could have been an idea someone threw out at an office meeting. That's that's what in the works can mean. It's, it's in the so works, ridiculous. but that's it. Yep. See, Kev, I agree, Kevin. It's simply in the works, which just, like we said, could easily be something in someone's mind. Like two execs may have talked about it. It's like we want an Obi Wan movie. How about you guys? We'll think about it. Right. It maybe maybe. Just please have Ewan. We'll have to see, oh, man. man. I mean, There's I don't even know so what part on, of yeah. Obi Wan's life they're even going to talk about. Right? They're going to so reference many legends ones. if they're going to create a hey, new origin for him. Lachlan hitting all of the uh, all Some the likes. recent memes. Yep. Nice. Thank you, Lachlan. We appreciate that. There's How do you think that ones. spinoff would go? Because they said it would take him back to Tatooine. Well. I don't. I, I honestly don't know how it's going to go. Like my thing about the origin stories is I don't know how what they're going to do for the origin stories in terms of plot. Like we don't know if and and there are people who are theorizing that they're just retelling legends. Not true. There are some things in legends that aren't that don't exist here. The Jedi still haven't been referenced, so they never. For all we know it's not plot anymore. Which would be shitty because they're like the best thing from Jedi canon. In Legends, he does a lot of crap on Tatooine. He does, but Very that's true. because everyone comes after him on Tatooine. I mean, he does save other people. That's not true. He saves people in the sand. <laughs> hey, Deadpool went well. Hey, my Very point true. exactly. It should go in the vault and stay there. Oh, yes. <laughs> Deadpool, though, to be fair, is probably one of the best comic book character adaption movies like he, they oh man they he nailed the character, character so up. well that he, it could fit into any storyline yeah you could have made any story out of that deadpool movie and i would have enjoyed yeah, it, it wouldn't immensely. have mattered the friend like the story was second to the character in that movie for sure oh yeah yeah <laughs> blowing it up thanks for blowing it up we william appreciate all it. the laughs man yeah. thank you brother oh man but uh deadpool 2 stoked oh man read could be about the civil war on tatooine oh God, please, yes. That would be amazing. We need more of the, the right, those movies the being warlike. Uh, we'll probably be off by the time you're... Oh, no, we still got a little while. You might see us while you're at work, yeah, Mikey. We got thanks for tuning hour. in. That's valid, but Wonder Woman was great. I, I mean, I again, another it. good character adaption. Welcome, Jorge. Thank you for oh, coming thanks in. Thanks for coming in, Jorge. Didn't see you there. Thank you, man. We will see you later, Mikey. We'll, we'll, we'll miss you. But until then, we'll continue talking about the best stuff. The, in the geeky nerd. stuff. Oh, man. There's so much good. Like I said, I can't wait. The new Inhumans trailer was still so awesome. I still love it. Oh, man. It. And it's coming up. I mean, we could see it IMAX September 1st. That's when, guys, be on the lookout for that. Friday and also on Friday, there's a big Star Wars event going on. Wow, where you really? can get. It's called uh, Force Friday 2, where you can get a bunch of new Star Wars merchandise. You get a bunch of new Star Wars products. Um, there's also an app called Find the Force. I think it just yeah it just came out today, actually. Oh, wow. um, where it actually uses the same augmented reality as Pokemon Go. And you go into like different stores and locations, and you could scan this little graphic and you'll be able to meet and interact with the characters it's really fucking awesome guys that sounds go cool. check that out um i think they actually have a new character in the ar as well somebody we haven't seen before oh really yeah so there's also maybe an oc 
Um, maybe somebody's integral to the plot. I'm I mean, definitely going to be trying. Are, OCs are great, man. Sometimes the original characters are better than our <laughs> classic. Well, every character was an original character at one point. You know what I mean? I mean, especially in Star Wars point, when the books yeah. became based off of the story, yeah, the yeah. original. Um, but it is cool. Like, original characters added on to, like, pre-existing genres. Absolutely. For example, uh, people don't always know this is a fact I saw that I wish we'd have gotten first, but Venom is a concept that Marvel bought from a fan for like 200 bucks. Wow. Or something. $200. For the whole concept. And it's like, that made millions of dollars. Right. <laughs> like, if they would have wrote a check for all the Venom stuff that they have now. You should have asked for 5%. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you should have just been like, I'll stupid. take 5% of the earnings. It's like, it's like the gross. Even <laughs> 10. I mean, he probably could have asked for that. And they would have been like, forget it. Yeah, fine. What, we were going to sell a few of these, here's $20, bro, was probably all they yeah, were Yeah, back then it was, yeah, you never knew what was going to go great. <sighs> There's some, just been so much great stuff, like I can't get oh, over it. Oh, man, so I seen something the other day, reportedly, I, I assume, um, that Batman, this new Batman one with the Batfleck or whatever coming up whenever, there's no date, but again, WB has too much going on, this film is going to be outside of the DCEU. I did hear I've about that, about. but that doesn't make sense to keep Batfleck and go outside of the DCU. Right. I'm like, what the heck would you do that for? So it's like, oh, we're just going to take a completely different Batman story and slap the same actor in it? I mean, what, unless they have him do some kind of alternate reality acting where he's a different character in each... You know what I mean? A different Batman in each movie, maybe I could get behind it. And you know what? Theories are, rumors are... Flashpoint. Right? Flashpoint, yeah. yeah. Flash is titled Flashpoint. Which is why we're getting the Aquaman series first, so we can have more drama for the Wonder Woman Aquaman interaction mm -hmm. in Flashpoint. That would make sense Ooh. if they were doing it that way. That would be the most sense. But then it doesn't explain the Cyborg movie. Which just what is, is that after Flash? I don't I don't know, and it really doesn't matter when it is. You know what I mean? Justice League better go well or all oh, this is going Yeah, it's all going question. right down the toilet. It's, <laughs> The, the thing is, they might push forward because of the success of Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, but I don't know if it was big enough. Like I said, so let's... And it's still not done doing, but let's uh, Yeah, it's take, still not done racking in numbers, dude. I mean, I'm pretty sure it topped out of, like, something like Wonder 600 Woman million. Gross. Even then, what's the gross? If they spent 250... I, I, think, I hear what you're saying. But I think they income. didn't spend that much on this one. I think they spent 150 on this. So the wow, domestic so gross, the wow, worldwide gross... It's more than 700,000, dude. It's 800,000 fucking... But it's about how much percentage-wise, so how much do they put What's in the is budget? more important. I don't see. That's why it doesn't make sense that, that they're... Add, Go back to Wiki. I'm just like, <laughs> that, how are you going to get the gross if you don't know the cost? Yeah, top 800 oh, we got million. got a bunch of comments. Oh, wow, they Holy just popped crap. up out of nowhere, guys. Sorry. Well, go back down. We wouldn't buy those ones. On the origins, Wonder Woman could have been so much better. On the origins, it, yeah, we hear Wonder you. Wonder Woman was disappointing. Come on, Susie, we, still we a, welcome. What's up, Guillermo? Jeremy? Brb, gonna watch the trailer. Nice, Go for it. good. Is Pokemon is, Go still thing. It is, oh. but like not for everyone. <laughs> Must not be on Android. I can't find it. I believe it's still on Android. I thought I had. I, well, I don't have it anymore. But I thought Maybe. I know a couple people who have it. Uh -huh, Bring it back is. Darth Maul. The problem with Maul is he's such an unstable character. But he's so fun to watch. Hey, Tyler! Tyler, what's up, Welcome, man? Tyler. Ben Affleck ruined Batman. No I more Ben Affleck. Lie. I just... Ben Affleck is a man... I just... I don't what's know that? what... They confirm continuity. Continuity? Who's continuity? He's the man, but he can't do Batman. He is a man, not so secret man crush I have to like anything. He's My in. thing about Batfleck is we've barely I, seen it. I don't... What do I have? I have a handful of scenes. Yeah. I, literally. You uh, can't as, really judge. Like, I see... I see him... So little, even in Batman vs. Superman, is very hard because you get half and half Bruce Wayne Batman. So not only do you have to split half a movie with Superman, but then you have to split half a movie with yourself. And you have to split the other half with both Clark Kent and Superman. Yeah, Great. which is, yeah, it was definitely, you got, he got like one fourth of the movie for Batfleck. Then he oh, got, look, whatever happened to the Aquaman movie, it's. We think planned. it's still in the plans. But right Batman is the Justice DCEU League. director, Matt, is, is in the DCEU. Okay, good. Oh, thank God, Kevin. I thought Matt Reeves was the one who said it might not be. He said, uh, he might have said it might not be and then confirmed that it is. 
Either way, that would be welcome news. <sighs> I'm not. Yeah, and that yeah. was published today. Because, so but I did hear they were making a Batman film outside of the DCEU. And that's maybe fine. That's the, or maybe it was the, the Joker. Like, the Joker is gonna, def- rumored now to be Harley Quinn and Joker from the DCEU. Which I really wish they wouldn't do that. It's not a very good relationship to display. The plot lines between them make no sense without Batman. It wouldn't be an origin story at that point. It'd just be a love story. I watched Ben Affleck and Batman and, and all I saw was him and Jane Silent Bob. I agree, William. Like, it was really once he was in costume, I I I'd lost that a little bit. I Do thought he looked pretty Harley in costume. Joker? He did. He did good. And I like that. I, he looked good into it. That chin though, I did. I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of the chin. I liked his outfit and his oh, size. Oh, Batfleck. <laughs> yeah, the Batfleck chin yeah, is like it's like that gruff kind of <laughs> crimson chin looking. The chin. crimson chin. <laughs> in actuality, do we need a Harley and Joker film? Probably not. Nope. I don't really feel we do. I want a Joker. Killing joke or a joke or death of the yeah, family. Yeah, like messing people. Like some people messed up. But you can't have that up. until you get more Batman. Yeah, maybe, maybe we, we could, could cast him, him as the Crimson. Exactly. <laughs> Crimson Chin. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. Facing your deadly foe. The golden <laughs> kneecap. He literally has the, the bronze the kneecap. Cleft chin and like the big, like, uh, yeah, square yeah, jaw. The like, hugest of square jaws. But I, like I said, Affleck, I don't hate or love. I just need more. Give me a Batman movie. Give me a, ba- a, a another combo movie. It, let me see Justice League. It looks like I get more Batfleck in Justice League. And you know what was dumb is they tried to call that like a Batman movie, and I'm like, no, not really. That really wasn't a Batman movie or a Superman movie, honestly. They tried to make it a mini Trinity movie is what they did. Right, but they didn't put enough Wonder Woman in. Not they put too movie. much of their alter egos in. Mm-hmm. Like, way too much Clark Kent, way too much personal baggage. Yeah, and way too much Bruce Wayne, and he was yeah. just like, this guy the dangerous. naked chin, mostly. <laughs> this guy is dangerous. Oh, you're killing me, William. You're killing me. What's up, Christopher? Good to see you, man. Hey, thanks for coming in. Uh, we're, I'm, we're dying over here, man. <laughs> yeah, we are. You're killing us with these, these Crimson oh, Chin references. Man. Crimson Chin is just, wow, throwback. Yeah, that is a throwback. Oh, but yeah, seriously, my, um, the DCEU needs to get it together. After Justice League... If, Here's the if thing. that Wonder does Woman, well, it will smooth it everything will. over. The thing is, Wonder Woman gave them a foothold now. It now did. they aren't sitting on the hopes and dreams of the fanboys. Now it's like, but let's let's compare. The other two films are, there are three films. Excuse me, are okay at best. And it said Suicide Squad, Man of Steel. Ugh. D V V S V V S we not even horrible. A, like I said, some people do. You have a message. I do have a message. I should turn off my phone. Tisk tisk. That is the message. Tisk tisk. Tisk tisk. But yes, B V S terrible. Bottom of the charts. Um, it's I am. They have but... they they've had Wonder Woman, but that's the only great one out of four. Like. One out of four, 25%, bro, that's, that's not a lot of But bait. the problem is the direction they went. So, like I said, it would have been like starting the series going, all right, we're going to start with Iron Man 2, go directly into Civil War, then we're going to do Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, yeah, that's how it would be like? Yeah, that was, okay, that was, okay, would that be was like, how what? it would be like if you substituted the similar... <laughs> right into for, Civil War. <laughs> right, it's literally, yeah, it's like Iron Man 2, boom, into Civil, Civil War. War, into Guardians of the Galaxy, with a slight hint back to whatever that movie didn't even exist. And then Captain character. Marvel. <laughs> yes, basically, it, it's it's, it's like, Flash the is the shit. Sorry, a little goofy at the moment, 10-hour day. Hey, I know hey, the feel, Tyler, yeah, I was doing... Demo all day. Don't even get me started on the just le- <laughs> Well, do you think it'll do bad, William? Like, My thing on, is, I don't think it'll do bad. I just know it's not going to hit that critical point. Like I said, it's just like Defenders. I have no Defenders faith. was good, but it was not what I wanted it to be. What I dreamed and hoped of it, which was the grand culmination of all of these different little pieces. And the thing is, Justice League is not going to be that because we have no pieces to pull together for half of the exactly. characters. Exactly. I mean, Aquaman's a new face. That's basically all it's going to be is introing Cyborg Flash and Aquaman. And, and then, like, and then okay, it's going to be... Yeah, that's a like, lot of characters to be introducing for the first time on Into screen. Winter Soldier. I oh. like... Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, no! <laughs> into, into Winter Soldier. Oh, yeah. I felt the same bad. about Defenders, but it was... Badass though, it was really it was. good. 
like I said, it was good. It wasn't but the it best wasn't, of all of them. Like I said, I wanted it to be better than Daredevil Season 2. By and far. It, by far, and it it wasn't. It wasn't quite it that. Should, there the were problem, parts that, they, that I wasn't thinking. I don't want to... We don't want to spoil The problem was the, the length. It was only eight episodes. It should have been more. I agree if they add in Hawkgirl in the OG chapters, it would be f- dope. Like... Who wow, would that play Hot awesome. Girl? Honestly, I like the Hot Girl from, DC. from the TV show. Yeah, she's does from a Legends good job. of Tomorrow. I really yeah. thought she did a good job. People yeah. can. Her. Oh, what yeah. about the she's what awesome. about the casting of Starfire? By the way, did you hear about no, that? Oh, let's check. Oh, that out. yeah, check this out, dude. Shoot, they got a Starfire. Oh. I believe so for the Teen Titans Teen series. Titans, yeah. Uh, yeah, Titans and Ideal cast as Starfire in live action series. And oh yeah, I did see that. And I think it's going to be awesome, especially they made the point of Zoe Saldana being Gamora, mm-hmm. and that she it's a already great, plays it looks a great beautiful. Gal- a galactic character. And so now we have Anna Diop. We're going to hope she does great. You know, she's oh, oh wow, sure they, and they already great. have Tegan Croft as Raven, which everyone was kind of like, and eh, which is in the original comics is really never mentioned what race Raven is at all. No. If anything, she's usually depicted as kind of like Middle Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern or Asian-ish. Yeah, like a, something like Eastern that. Eastern Asian. That's my question because they would need a lot of characters to pull off a of Justice League. The thing is, I think they're starting in the points where they have to. And the thing, the same thing with the Justice League is It like, was the, the the Avengers too. Like, the Avengers has been a bigger team than And they had to, was. but they, and they ramped up. And I think that's what they have to do, William, is they, they they just have to give them. They they want to be caught up with Marvel so bad they're rushing their movie. They, they, that's the they truth. Are. Yeah, that's they the are. truth. They're pushing out, you know, and even to the point now that Wonder Woman follows a lot of their dynamic. It does, which I mean, is the fun. Formula it's a good it? dynamic. It's a good formula. It works. It, it's it's not the only one you have to take, but for that type of hero. It works. It's the dyna- it's the one you want. You know like what I, I mean? It, it would, it's like different. It's like you don't want to run with that... Di- like running a Legion... Trying to do the show Legion with that dynamic would have been terrible. Just like it's, trying to it's do based Wonder on Woman, the character for definitely. sure. Definitely. And can't be characters... Like and, Wonder Woman and doing like a Deadpool. Oh, that would be too much comedy for like Wonder Woman. Yeah, there's no way. The, and so I think they just need to take the appropriate steps. Oh. God, these comments come blazing, guys. Well, we're trying to keep up. <laughs> All I ask is Starfire to be hot again. I think she's pretty she's hot. She's a, like a fine black girl. I will, I will play, play hot, hot girl. girl. Hey, Susie, I'd watch it. Make Starfire hot. Girl. <laughs> it will with this Susie, casting you're choice. You're a hot girl. I mean, hot girl. <laughs> Wow. I'm sorry. I'll watch that movie, Susie. Oh, man. Make make Ewan McGregor Obi-Wan again. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Please. You can't he rush it, He was so good, though. Yeah, you can't rush it. That's the problem, Will. I think he would be the one that they would turn to, Ewan McGregor. I really loved him in, in his last depiction, and I'd see no reason why you wouldn't bring him back. It was perfect. <sighs> Episode 3. Oh, my God. Have you seen... Don't I, even say Oh, my God. Is it in here? Let me see if it's in here. I think it's in the other one. Oh man, I got this new. It's in the other one. What's up? I gotta look it up. It's so it's so dumb, but I have to show it with you. Don't. But but people, we definitely gotta lean on that because Ewan McGregor was the perfect. He Obi-Wan. was so good. All right, or young girl be one if you will. Oh my God, banana. <laughs> banana. Did I share you this one with banana? You were my brother, banana. I, I loved you. you. Uh, wow. You were the chosen one. It was said you would destroy the green. Not Solomon Brown Grundy well. movie needs to happen. Uh, I want him in a movie, but Solomon Grundy as a character is just impossible. Though. Well, I mean, I Maybe won't spoil where, go. but he's on TV right now. Jeez. He's aged to play an older Kenobi, too. It'll, It'll be, be perfect. Yeah, he is, too. Yeah. After a couple years now, he's definitely in the yes. spot where he can play him. Uh, as far as the Solomon Grundy thing, I love Grundy. Love his character. We just released a fact about him the other mm-hmm. day about uh, Batman and him having Thanksgiving together. Take, take my, my money, money for, for that, that movie, movie now. now. Shut Which up and take Grundy my money. Or oh yeah, Kenobi. I'm out. Final log exam tomorrow at 8 a.m. Have a great night. Hey, good luck. Good luck, Susie. You can take do care. it. Take care. Thanks for coming out. Thank you. And thank you for being a patron. Yes. What's up, Sarah? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Bye, Susie. Yup. Later, Susie.
I love how everyone's so connected in the chat. I know. It's so awesome Both. when we all talk. Oh, yes, yes. The Obi-Wan movie, man, that'll be awesome. Nova filmed those. <laughs> oh, yeah, Richard Ryder. I mean, he is getting so yeah. shut down. His you comic got that, canceled. Though. I'm hoping that they he, at least give him a nice break. canceled, though. Yeah. Uh, like, for a minute, He had, though. like, a little line. He had the five series. He had, like, yeah, a five comic like, series on, back when... Um, back when, well, Then they did the cancel for stuff. They almost immediately canceled him. I was so... You did call just it though, Kevin. I want to spend money. I just, Kevin, you, called, I, I you did call it. Like, yep. Definitely I'm hoping that happens because I really Nova's want such it. a good character. Well, and I, they got to be going from the Cap Marvel one. Like I, And that's what I love is that because of the new setting that we're in, the new like era of superhero movies, mm -hmm. things that would have been impossible before are now possible. Yep, Characters sure. like... Nova, Richard Ryder, if you guys check him out. Captain oh, Marvel's honestly. coming up. Yep, I mean, that, and that's, that's such huge. A, I just want to direct these Marvel movies. I swear they need to get more nerdy directors and less director directors because they, we are better at comic book stuff. Where is Kevin Smith when need you to need, need a hero? Ryan, they need to get more people like Ryan Reynolds who actually knows the character yeah. and who actually well, participates they have to, in that has to, the That's the one thing I like, the, the prep for characters in Marvel is almost 80% people reading their comics. Yeah, they're like actually every studying. Actor, either reading the comic, for example, who is it, uh, uh, John Berthold, wears around a I'm Not Daredevil shirt, which is a huge oh, so shout-out awesome. to the comics. Yep. He, he, it's like a, one of the greatest ones. Yes, for all the, the likes, love. y'all. Yay. And loves. I, like, we would love to, I'd love, like, like I said, seriously, sure where is good. Kevin Smith when you need a movie director? Because he's been doing so good on oh, making man. Supergirl he better. Even, he's been doing so good. He made great Flash episodes, and he even stepped forward and said he would direct the movie. I really wish they would just give it to him. Like, everyone knows that Kevin James Smith knows Gunn comics. for Nova, though, please. He's done so well with the Cosmic Marvel He does stuff. do so well with Guardians. Yeah, like, he needs to definitely be the one to step in on that. Any Cosmic movie, they could just put it in his hands, and he's got it. Cause the and the thing is, we have to remember great. that we're going to have to eventually switch director's hands like they're not going to stay on to these things forever it's no. not fun for them i mean the but russo brothers the, who does adventures now and they yeah took that from the last guy joss whedon which you know joss when was he, fine he it's, did his thing yeah, it was good it was good and now we're on to fresh new movies and there's definitely distinct changes did, did they, they ever, ever add happen? reverse flash into the series which oh he was yeah he was real prominent quick. right very, in the very first season of flash very um, much so yes they did very heavily they also added in professor zoom uh who is only called zoom there and then um gorilla grods in there they yep. have a lot are we they talking about the about, series i think they are yeah yes, yeah we have a you lot gotta of check about it flash actually probably has the most enemies of any superhero show yeah but that's actually a problem because he defeats them so fast that they're not that it's just like filler almost yeah it's, it's like just, oh yeah really really, really william. william i mean and, yeah, and grod was great like oh yeah my grod thing about gorilla good. grod is he could have even been the main villain for one of the seasons oh yeah like, well and so he good. could still be a main villain for one Very of the true. seasons because he's evolving as a character and mm -hmm. that's what i love about some of it is that character evolution yeah that some builds, of it's really bad but like for example that was one of the things about the last chapter that really got me was the whole killer frost thing they did really bad development on that whole thing. It was like, yes, the thing, but then the change of character. The, entire yeah, the way they took it was just like kind it was of so stupid. harsh. And then they had made us love her so much; it was really hard to exactly. Let it go. We were I'm so shocked. Attached. I had no clue. Yeah, you got to check it out. I will say, season one and season two of the Flash are solid seasons. I would say even the, even the tail three. end of season three was good. The thing is, season that. three as a whole is good, but it like. The, the middle part of season three is not uh, just good. so filler and like really people are singing and stuff yeah like, and it, yeah it, this whole dumb. musical engine yeah, yeah, the episode musical episode was too much garbage sorry. i'm sorry that one's catering to a like Different it's like audience. 3d tvs yeah. it's like come on the flash villains are so lame they even make jokes about it in the justice league animation they are though <laughs> i'm not surprised like are we talking about just the Flash as a whole, or are we talking about just the series? I think series? just the Flash. Yeah, because like we need another. We I'm need sorry, another Captain type of Boomerang. <laughs> they tried to make him like scary, but you, you can't not make Captain Boomerang scary. You seemed like Killer Frost was the only one that had a personality change. It is. It's the really big one, and, and, and I, I know just, why they did it, but it was just like come it was on. so disappointing to build her up to that standard. I would be that. surprised, <laughs> or I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, it's it's definitely one of those things. Like yeah. But that's all right. I mean, the problem is the scale of differences, too. Like, you give the Flash someone, anyone, he can basically beat him. Same with Superman. So you have to 
put in foibles and natural kind of comedy. Yeah, then from just kind of wiggly villains. Well, it's like, how do you beat Thanos easily. with the Infinity Gauntlet? Theoretically speaking, you don't ever in the, in Infinity. You yeah, never beat you him. Don't. Like it's just it, like legit. It's one of those things where it's like technically you don't. You, if you I mean he's he beastly has, without the gauntlet. With well, they it. talk it's about it. Like no one guy. ever understands. Like th- like everyone's like this that, that. Well, Hulk's the strong. Oh, have you seen? Did you see the new Ultimates? The, oh it. my God! You got him. Please don't spoil. You it. have to. It's I'm a, like it's one a behind. <laughs> it's no. This one's way more important than the last one because it's a cross with the Ultimates. It's like a cross with Ultimates and the Ultimates. Ultimates. Oh wow! Yeah. It's crazy. Like the original Ultimates and the ah, sweet. It's super We're awesome. Go check that out for sure. Don't spoil it. I'm not gonna spoil it. It's super cool. <laughs> yeah, check right? it out. Well, Ultimates. It's it. actually called Ultimates 100. Is the name of it? Thoughts on Arrow season five with Chase? Fantastic. Yeah, you'll have to get on to that. Um, that was that. that's my next awesome. run. Is Arrow is yeah, probably my next show. I I liked him because he actually gave Ollie like a psychological awareness. Like he gave him. He, he wanted to torture Ollie. He wanted to see Ollie break in his mind. He didn't even care if Ollie survived. He didn't want to kill Ollie. He didn't want to destroy. He wanted Ollie to suffer, and that was crazy. But Superman gets outsmarted all the time, and they play to his weaknesses while the Flash villains just feel like they just want to get the Flash's attention. So good, Ultimates. Yes, is he? Good point. Um, I agree to a point, although they often show Superman as intelligent and outsmarting Brainiac so it's right. really ridiculous the changes they make to that character as far as Flash I agree and I like I said I think it's even done that way purposefully for two reasons one who's a realistic threat to the Flash if he's ever serious nobody he, he, he shit stomps every basically superhero on the roster with the exceptions of like Plastic Man and the seriousness of his Actions generally mostly joking and, around, and, and so his villains aren't even called villains, they're called his rogues gallery because <laughs> really they're not villains, he's just playing games with them. In honesty, best show about Batman was Gotham. I don't know, Batman the animated series is pretty was damn really good. good. I mean, I guess he might Gotham, be the only same though, live is action, probably be but... no, I mean, he, it, it's, a, it's a good argument still. Gotham is still a good argument, it's, it's against... top five for sure. Like I said, uh, I, I, I am a threat to the Flash. Good. Uh, everyone's like a threat to the Flash when he doesn't pay attention. <laughs> like I said, if you the one that that's the one that oh, pisses me off. He can catch animation. a bullet by <laughs> feeling it hit him, but he's not fast enough to stop people from hitting him with stuff. Mm-hmm. It's like, come on now. Gotham was in depth about his story. Definitely. Yeah, it's not. Is Gotham Good isn't point. really about Batman though? Ooh, yeah, great, that, great that's point. true. It's about Jim Gordon and Bruce and Wayne. Bruce Wayne, not yep. not Batman yet. It's about the creation and like the up the what it's, leads it's to Batman. Origins of a I lot feel of like characters. It, it is, but I also feel like it does. It's like setting the tone for Batman. What incites him on every level, citywide level, personal level. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't about Batman. It was Bruce Wayne. Yeah, true. Yep, Although Bruce, Bruce Wayne is technically the mask. and so. um. And, and Gordon, like they're the two most important characters in there. It's shifting pretty told. quickly to Bruce. It is. Yep. And 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 that's the origin of which it is what all. we like, want. It's we, the build right, guys. It's my bedtime. Him. Enjoy the rest of your night. Good YouTube talk, time. Guys. Thanks yeah. For thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate it. To- it. Yeah. And it actually is our wrap up time too. Pretty much. Yep. It's about to hit nine, and we're on our shorter, ed- you know, schedule currently. So we're gonna have to. Head out of here quick. If you guys have anything you wanted to say real quick to us or ask anything, or- good night, Tyler. You know, we're we're still here for just a moment. You know, we'll give you some heads up. Uh, Same here, guys. I yeah, gotta get some sleep. Totally understand. Yeah, it looks like we're time. all rapping here. Uh, wow. And so, you know, uh, I'm Axel Grave. You can check me out uh, anywhere on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Axel Grave and at 3D Productions. We do music, uh, gaming, live stream, editing, all kinds of writing stuff. We, we just have fun. And I'm Leo Rydell. Find me on Daily Blast Live and on my own social media, too. I'm going to be on YouTube. I'm on Twitter now, Facebook, and Instagram. Find me online, guys. We will see you guys next week. Thanks so much, William. Enjoy the com- If you enjoyed watching or want to support the channel, remember to attack that like button. Subscribe on YouTube, follow on Twitch, or join our Discord using the link on screen or in the description below so that you can get daily updates on all of our uploads and live streams. 
We know we're not perfect and we can always improve. So please visit our Discord or comment below with a critique or a compliment to let us know how we can improve ourselves. Finally, if you're just starting for more content, you can become an honorary member of 3D Productions at patreon.com slash 3D and get exclusive access for as low as a dollar a month.